Okay, so this Reason lesson is loading a set of sounds that you've recorded yourself into a sampler and then editing those sounds to trim them down to the exact noise that you want. I will also assign each sound to a different key on the sampler's piano. So in the rack, I need to create an instrument. Well, I'm going to use the advanced sampler. And I need to bring down the extra information on the piano. If I use a click in this triangle, it will bring down all the technical information for each sound plus the piano. I can then load from the load button for one sample. I can load from my desktop some of the sounds I've recorded. So there's sound one. I'm then going to shrink the, the zone that that noise plays on down to one piano key. And I can confirm that by looking down here. These both say C3 for low and high, so I know the zone is just on C3, the middle key, and the original sample is also on that note. So I know it's not going to play higher or lower than that. And so now I've got one zone ready. What I can now do is duplicate that so that I have 10 single note zones. So I'm going to quickly do that now. Okay, now I've got 10 single note zones. What I can now do is quickly double click the second one to load up the second sound, double click the third one to load up the third sound, double click the fourth one, and so on. So I can pretty quickly load up all of the sounds into a single key. The only problem is, is that at the moment, just do that one again, they're all on the same key. So now I can space them all out. And what I want to do is move them so this, they go up one whole note. I don't want to use the black notes because they're too close together. So I'm just going to use C, move this one so it says D3. I'm going to move this one so that it says E3. You don't want to use those sharps and flats, it gets complicated. So that one needs to say F. This one needs to say G. The important thing is, is that it's, when I move the zone, it's moving the original recording along the piano as well. So it's not going to speed it up or slow it down. And then move the this one to A, this one up to the next big note, this one to C, the, there you go, this one to D, and this one to E. Now on the piano, if I create myself a little block for one bar, move my loop so it's there and click switch loop on, if I double click this with the arrow, I need to trim that sample because I'm not getting it at the beginning when I hit the note. To do that, Reason will allow you to manage the sample so I can edit. And on this sampler here, as long as I'm actually clicking on the sampler and not on the music, I can edit and manage samples. This brings up all the noises in the song. It, here's the XT. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to point out the naming function. So on the sampler, I can go to the top of the sampler here, double click this, and actually call it OC Sounds. It will actually change it. So here are the OC Sounds, that's the sampler with the OC Sounds. It will also change it down in the music to OC Sounds. Makes it, makes it more um, easy to manage later on. I can click Voice 1 and I can edit that. And this is that annoying feedback noise. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna shorten it a little bit though so it doesn't go on. I'm gonna crop that and I'm gonna save. On voice two I can edit, I can play it. Here's the sound, that high little triangle there. So I always move the start and end to that noise. I zoom in the start and the end so I can very finely cut that and crop it and save it. Voice 3, quite obvious, move the start point to there, move the end point very quickly, zoom in on the start, move it closer and crop, save and so on. So I can now do all of them 
and they're all pretty easy. So I can zoom in on that to make it even closer. Chop off all the rubbish at the end and crop. It's important to leave a chunk of space after the main noise to create that what's known as resonance. You know, the sound will, it will die away and go on, so you don't want to chop it too abruptly. So save that. Voice 5, edit. Zoom in to make sure it's perfect. Crop and save. Voice 6, edit. Start position, crop and save. 7, edit. Start position and crop and save. Crop that one twice, just chop it a bit more off. And then just two more to go. There's the noise after that voice. So I throw it in here and I chop that off a little bit. Zoom in. Yep, yeah, it's looking good. Crop that. Save. And then the last one. And uh, now, because I've changed those samples that are in the song, they've now changed. In the sampler. I can now use those to find a noise that's roughly like a bass drum. And a noise that's roughly like a snare. And I can actually write my beat with... OC sounds. Click the plus to zoom in. Here are my four beats. Beat this is bar one, beat two, bar one, beat three. Change that down to eight. So I've got the off on beat and the off beat. And I can do one, two, three and a half, four. And if I make the notes longer, you'll get more of that sound. And there you go, there's a beat loading up from OC Sounds in the sampler.